Hello, in this video we are going to see how to make the app go automatically from one screen to the other. In our example we have the loading screen and the home screen. We want the user to see this loading screen for a couple of seconds and then automatically go to the home screen where the user will have the actions to select the actions to execute inside the app. That's finding new con finding contacts or creating new contacts. Let's go to the loading screen and let's see what's the control that we are need to use in order to do that. Here in the inserts, I can search by timer. We have here the timer inside the input class. So I can go here and find also inputs and also select the timer in here. Once I click on it, a timer will be inserted in the app and it looks like a button with a text inside it that represents a time. If I play the app and click on it, we can see that it will start counting seconds once we clicked. And there is one property that we can define until how much it will count. What's the final number of seconds of this timer? By default, it's 60 seconds. And once it gets to the 60 seconds, it will stop. We can change this duration as well as put some action in the end of the timer, when the timer ends. Let's exit the play mode and see how it works. It's counting, it will count until 60, but let's exit and click on it to see what are the properties of this timer. We have the text property that has a function that will show the seconds, the hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's not pay much attention to it right now because it doesn't matter for us. We have the duration, that means until what number the counter will count. That means what, until what number the timer will count. And here's 60,000 because it's in milliseconds. That means six seconds. So each thousand milliseconds means one second. Let's change to 4000 for example, so we can see it working and we don't need to wait 60 seconds. Now we will have to wait four seconds. We can, right? So let's play the app and see it working. Now I'm going to click on it to start and it will count until four. Just counting, just counted until four and stopped right there. Exiting the play mode and clicking the timer again, we see that we have the repeat option. We can toggle, toggle on and off. Let's keep it off. We can have the auto start option. So I will select because I want this timer to start counting as soon as the screen shows. And we have the auto pause option that's toggle to on. That means it, that it will pause when it gets to the end of it and not start again. And also display mode, visible, position, and other properties. Right now we have the duration set to 4 and the auto start toggled on. If I play the app, it starts counting automatically and it will stop at 4. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. Now let's get back to the class and continue learning together. Now the last property and the most important one, that's where we are going to make it call the navigate function. So if I exit the play mode and select the timer, we see here in this properties drop down one property that's called on timer ends. It's similar to the button one that's the on select, 
but here is when the timer ends. We also have on select and on timer starts. In this case, what matters for us is the on timer end. I'm going to click on it and here we have nothing. I have just a false in there. Let's change this false to a navigate. So let's call the navigate function and then inform the screen we want to navigate in the end of the timer. In this case, is the home screen. I'm going to click on home screen. I can put a comma and select a transition effect. I will select the fade. Usually I use the fade in my apps and I like that one. I will select fade and close the parentheses. Now, once the timer ends, it will call this function and navigate to the other screen. Let's see, I'm going to play the app. It will start automatically as we defined and now in four seconds, it changed the screens already. So it's working. We can publish this app and play to see if it will work when we play the app from the Power Apps page. But before saving and publishing, we can go back to the loading screen and hide this timer because we don't need the user to see it. We just want its action. We don't want the user to see this number counting and don't knowing what it means. So with the timer selected, I will just toggle off the visible property right here in the property panes. So I'll change to off. The timer will hide, but it will still work once the page appears. Now let's save and publish and see if it will work. I'm going to save. After it saves, let's click on publish and click on publish this version. Now it's published. Let's go to make.powerapps.com and see where is our app. So I'm going to click on apps, find our app here that's called Power Contacts and click on play. Again, there is a new version. Let's click on refresh. We can notice right now that before clicking on it, it's stuck here in this loading page, but now we have the timer once we refresh. Now it's lo it loads the page, it's counting from one to four, and now it will change to the home page. It just changed. If, you, if we refresh the app, we'll see that again. So just load it. It's counting, count to four and change the pages. So it worked. In the next class, we are going to advance more in your app and see how to create this list of contacts right here. We are going to show the data from our database and display in this screen similar to this list. And in order to do that, we are going to learn a very important control that's used in almost all of the apps that are the galleries. So see you in the next class.